Governance on Cardano is evolving at the moment. I'm pretty excited about this one because it's really hard to do. Governance is by far the most challenging thing around Web3 and blockchain. How do we operate? How do we govern ourselves? How do we evolve the chain? How does voting happen? How did changes around block sizes and all sorts of things? How do we get those decisions across the line and implemented on chain. We saw back in 2017, 2018, when Bitcoin had the big block size battle between big blocks and small blockers, that it really split the community. And there was a lot of talk about how and what was the best way uh, to scale Bitcoin, but also how to vote as well. So it's really interesting to see how that one's evolved and what had happened since those particular votes went through. So we had uh, splits, we had forking of Bitcoin, we had Bitcoin S SV, Satoshi Vision, uh, Bitcoin Cash, all sorts of things had changed out of that. So it, the, the whole governance process needs to be done right. And now it's really good to see that the Kadana ecosystem is in that point where we are voting on what we've done so far in a Cardano improvement proposal. And this is SIP 1694, the whole idea and constitution around governance and how we operate and all those different aspects. The vote is now up on uh, the governance website where you can vote for it. This is just a temperature check. We're just seeing what people are thinking and testing out this process to see how it all works. Voting is open now from this time of recording the video all the way up to the first uh, 11th of December. So you'd be able to play around with it um, and uh, see how the whole voting process works and what the teams have been working on. And if you want to actually look at what the teams have been working on, check out this 1694.io website. This is an, uh, an overview of the constitution, everything that the, the teams and various contributors have been working on on GitHub. Uh, that's where all the action happens. Uh, but writing all of this documentation around the whole, uh, everything around the governance on Cardano so far, um, you can see there's a lot of work that's gone through here. But check that out. I'll put links down below for you in the show notes so you can have a, a better understanding of how this is all being pieced together. Now, there is a big FAQ documentation around this on the ballot website. Again, I'll put links down below for you. Uh, the, probably the main things that you need to know is that you needed to have your ADA state to uh, pull uh, before the 21st of November. Now, I mentioned this in news updates. So if you're watching the news updates, you would have would have seen that and you would have had to have your ADA staked. So if you are already in the Cardano ecosystem, you have a wallet staked, you can go through the voting process. The minimum also was one ADA. So a majority of people, that would have been totally fine. The other thing to note is that uh, the, there is very wide wallet support for this, but the actual ballot site itself didn't support hardware wallets. That is, you need to be able to sign from your wallet to the ballot website. And the current way that uh, wallets work, the hardware wallets just don't support the signing of messages in transactions. So I'll get to that in a moment and I'll show you an alternative solution. So if you are using a hardware wallet and you do want to participate in governance, you can. I'll show you that in a second. But what I will show you right now is the voting process for the ballots using a regular hot wallet. So here we can connect our wallet. In this case, I'm going to connect my NAMI wallet. I use that quite a bit uh, for a lot of these type of websites and uh, this type of interaction. So here you can see I've connected my wallet and what I'll do now is click on ballot and this is a wallet signature that's required. So I'll just show you what this looks like on screen here and then I'll be, it will, you can see a little bit of a message here, the action, the login data, the address and what's happening. So here I can sign this and that will allow me to go through to the voting screen. And here I can vote yes, no, or abstain. In this case, I'm going to hit yes and submit my ballot. Another transaction will come up and it will give you a bit of an idea of what the transaction here. And you can see it's saying cast vote, vote data, this is stake address, and I'm voting yes for this particular ballot proposal. So it, it does give you a little bit of information around what you're signing, which is so, so important. So you know exactly what your wallet is doing when you're signing this particular message. So I'll just 
put in my password and sign this ballot and there we go. I've now successfully submitted my vote and I can check back on the 16th of December to see those results. Now, there was a whole lot of uproar in the community and a lot of people do use hardware wallets and if you don't have one, I would highly recommend that you do look into one. Hardware wallets are absolutely fantastic way to securely store your assets so really highly recommend that you get one. There's many, many out there and you can see any of the videos on my YouTube channel where I talk through many of these hardware devices. Now, for those that are using a hardware device and are wanting to vote, you can check out this website here and this is Summon Platform. So Summon Platform have done a way where you can vote in this. So this is kind of like a uh, temperature check that they're doing on their website for this. So if the uh, Kadana Foundation website uh, doesn't do the hardware wallet voting, that's okay. There's solutions in the Kadana community where we can do this. So you can check this one out here. This is what it looks like. This is from the tempcheck.summon.app slash poll. And here again, you can choose whatever uh, vote you want, connect your hardware wallet whatever it might be, and then go through the voting process there. Now, the other really cool thing about this platform here is that you can see on chain already the vote in the direction where people are going. So this is, the, you can see the voting power here. So this is the amount of uh, love laces that have been used for voting at the moment. So the majority of people are voting yes. We have a portion saying uh, no, and there's a small little portion with abstain as well. So uh, it's nice to see the actual uh, vote direction where people are looking at the moment. Like I said, this is just a temperature check. So we're just playing around with the tools, mechanisms, and getting people on board. I think that's one of the very uh, big hard things uh, around governance is getting people involved in the process itself. And to see this all coming into play at the moment is really, really cool. So I highly recommend that you do check out these websites, check out all the links down below. If you are a part of the Kadana ecosystem, if you do wanna see it grow and evolve over the next few years, come on in, play around with the voting mechanisms, cast a vote and be a part of Kadano's governance. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.